Gamers, the future is now. Hello. Last night was the Game Awards, the 2021 Game Awards, and they announced something that looked really, really cool, which is this, The Matrix Awakens, an Unreal 5 experience, or Unreal Engine 5. From what they showed, it looks absolutely incredible. So I thought it was fitting that I used my best camera for this. I don't know. Just felt like it. <laughs> Stop making fun of me. Um, so, I don't, I don't have any of my lights on. What am I doing right now? But this is made in Unreal Engine 5. This is mostly just a test demo to show what it's capable of. So yeah, that's, that's basically all this is. And I am extremely, extremely excited. Let me turn some lights on real quick. Okay, this is a little bit better. Are we ready to enter the Matrix? Let's go, let's do this. I'm very excited. Very, very excited. Hopefully this stays in focus the whole time. The Matrix. This is like the perfect time for them to do this too. It's the new Matrix movie is about to be out. So again, this is all in Unreal Engine 5. Hi, I'm Thomas Anderson. Like many of you, I work with computers. Even as a cinematic like right now, this looks incredible. Outside the limitations of the real world. But computers are that also looks mirrors. so good. Reflecting back who and what we are. It's Keanu! The worlds we build. Shit! They also confront us with questions. Hey, Keanu. About why we want to choose this over that. Why we want to make X instead of Y. Where do ideas of who we are and what we want even come from? You take the red pill, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. This isn't real. What is real? How do you define real? For instance, I'm not even sure why I'm here. I remember waking up this and is thinking incredible. that I was supposed to come here. That it was important for me to ask people. How do we know what is real? Hi, I'm Keanu Reeves. Hi, Keanu. Over 20 years ago, I first played the character Thomas Anderson in the Matrix trilogy. Those films pioneered digital cinema with shots like bullet time. Back then, we talked a lot about where the digital age might take cinema and narrative. In an industry where actors have tried to remain perpetually young, Damn. We wondered about digital faces. The, that could become the mouth movement is so good. Hi, I'm Carrie Ann Moss, and I played Trinity in the Matrix films. 20 years ago, we asked ourselves how long it would be before faces and bodies could be changed as easily as we change clothes. Damn. We wondered, what would identity mean in a completely digital world? And what would reality mean when a world we can build feels as real as our own? Damn, that looks amazing. Again, this is all cinematics right now. Yeah, this is what they wanted. They said they were fine with your theoretical mumbo jumbo. <laughs> but they needed some sexy action. Sexy action. Who said? The marketing people. Marketing? The marketing people. I thought we were supposed to have total creative control. Sure. Welcome to the Matrix. I love the, the filmic quality that they're giving everything to, like the, the grain and the aspect ratio and everything. Like riding a bike, they say. It'll probably change once it's miss this version of us. actual gameplay time. But. Me too. <clears throat> yeah. What are you doing back hey. there? Sorry, I was told this is a sim preparing me to fight the system. Right on. <laughs> you know about this. Yeah, it's all supposed to be a little unreal. Word of advice, agents are bad, but whatever you do, stay the hell away from marketing. You see you <laughs> Bye, Neo. Damn, look at him go. Look at him go. So, what now? Haven't you ever watched a movie before? It's time for action, Say baby. No Shoot the tires. This is not me playing, by the way. Keep them off. 
is it? Oh, now it is! Damn. This is gameplay! Holy shit, this looks so good. This is Unreal Engine 5. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't, hold on, we can't kill any of the civilians. Get them, get them up on top. Oh yeah. Oh, there's so many of them. There's so many. Oh shit! <laughs> this is so cool. This is so cool. Go, 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 go. Get the car, get the car, get the car. Shit. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, back to cinematic. So Sorry, sick. Boys. Is he gonna go sledding on the roof? Nope. Of course they Sorry, boys. Yeah, the lighting looks really good. Hang on. Again, so this is not a full game. This is just a tech demo to just sort of show what Unreal Engine 5 can do. So now I think this is back into gameplay because the aspect ratio changed. Oh my god, yep. Tires. It's just more convenient. Jesus. Jesus! Trinity, you need to drive a little bit better. This is a little bit nuts, mate. Shooting at the tires. I'll take them all out. Damn, dude. The reflections, too. It's so impressive. And again, so this is all in the... I, I looked up at my normal camera. This is all in the PS5. Um, so this is available for PS5 and the Series X, Xbox. Oh, hell yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Can I shoot the helicopter too? Get him. Get him. Let me at him, baby. Let me at him. Get him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's so many of these fuckers. Oh, helicopter time, baby. Helicopter time, baby. Get him, get him, get him. Damn, dude. Come on, Trinity. You gotta be steady with it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What are you doing? Can I drive, Trinity? Oh, hell yeah. That's so damn cool. Hell yeah. And no civilians are here, right? Because it's fake! Or it's real. Or it's fake. Or it's real. Damn, that's cool. That's so cool. Well, now, do we get to mess around with it? I'm assuming that's not everything. Assume we get to mess around a little bit more. Crowd and traffic system. Toggle mass AI visu visualization. You can just disappear everything? Oh, no, 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 it's just back and forth. It just slowly loads in. Oh, that's so cool. So I'm just toggling back and forth between day and night. You know, I hated math in high school and through all my schooling, but this is all just like math, basically. So cool. Again, this is me controlling this. The nanite visualization. Displayed rendered pixels. Oh, interesting, interesting. Damn. It's all just polygons, baby. So this is displaying the rendered pixels. 
Is it playtime? Damn. Holy shit, dude. So this is me playing now. I can fly? <gasps> so this is, I'm just controlling the camera right now. Altitude up, altitude down, speed up. This is so cool. It's just a free camera. Can I go in buildings? I can't go in buildings. But it's great. Damn, the reflections off the windows. And just the fact that there are even environments inside. So cool. Look at that. Damn, dude. All right, now what can I do? What can I do? Check out the menu real quick. Let's see, all right, so this is, oh. That's so cool. I can control the sun and the crowd and the traffic. I can turn the matrix filter on or off. Damn. The focus distance? And I could do exposure compensation? That's incredible. That is absolutely incredible. I can control the focal length. This is just so cool because of the customization. And I can control the focus distance. So cool. So cool. All right, let's see what we can do. Can we do anything as far as interactions with people? God, this looks incredible. It's crazy how much processing power um, modern consoles have, like these like, current gen consoles. I was about to call it next gen, but it's the current gen now. But, you know, because there, there's been, there's been stuff like this, not exactly like this, but like really high graphical um, tech demos and stuff that you can play on PC. <gasps> I can drive a car! But you have to have a really high-end system to uh, to do so, and so it's really cool that that's so cool. The car doesn't work anymore. That's so cool. That's like almost accurate to real life. That's sick. I'm gonna steal this car real quick. Can I? Hey, can I steal your car? I don't know if I can steal people's car. It's not GTA exactly. How do I get guns and stuff? Can I get guns and stuff? <laughs> some of the, ooh. Let's get this cool car. Let's do some parallel parking real quick. Let's see how the, uh, the parallel parking features are in this uh, tech demo. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Great stuff. Great stuff. All right, let's get out. Can we get some cool guns? Damn, this will be fun. This is like a Porsche kind of thing. Look at how good that looks. It's crazy because, like, oh, this car is so much faster than all the others. What happens if I hit a person? Oh, I just go through them. That's kind of cool. Damn, you can hear the little pops of the engine. That's so sick. That is so cool. 
it looks incredible. I know that all I'm talking about are the visuals of this game, but it looks just so good. The way that you impact stuff and like how the destruction of it, like how everything just like crumples. That maybe wasn't as realistic, but. <laughs> Damn, are there motorcycles? I want to drive a motorcycle. <laughs> I did give it up a piggyback ride! Yay! So damn cool. So damn cool. Alright, let's go. Let's go up a bit. See if we can get on a roof or something. That might be cool. Can we beat? Nope. Can't go up on a roof. I guess the only thing that you can really do is drive around and fly around in the city. But, I mean, it's just, it's so pretty. And the fact that you can change the environment straight from the menus without having to load anything in. I mean, I was, I was thinking about, during the Game Awards, some of the games that I've really loved in my life and some of the games that have like really impacted me a lot. Um, and my first like, w when I first really got into video games, it was during the PS3. Um, my first console ever was a PS2, if we're not counting um, handheld consoles. Because my first handheld console was a Game Boy Color. Um, but, uh, my first console was a PS2, and I played very casually, but then I started getting, like, actually more into gaming on the PS3 um, with, you know, games like Call of Duty and and Uncharted. Um, there was a ton of games that I played on the PS3 uh, where I was like, oh, I actually really like this a lot more than just, like, casually. Um playing and I remember Uncharted Drake's Fortune the first one was one of the first games that I really noticed as like a huge win technology wise like it was just so far above at the time graphically um what any other game was doing um at least in my eyes at that point uh and it was so amazing but something that I think about a lot is like the load times for those games were so long um obviously because they were doing some some really powerful stuff with the console um and the hardware was not nearly as good as it is today obviously but the load times were insane and so just seeing something like this where i can change the entire environment and ha have it happen instantly with zero load times at all um is crazy this looks so good like i mean all of if you're looking on the side of the car like all of the reflections and all the lighting changes and like you can see the reflections of the buildings it's so cool let's get out and fly a little bit huh let's see what this world has to offer This is all happening right in front of my eyes. Look how pretty this is. The birds! I went through a stack of birds. <laughs> a stack of birds. It's so cool. The lighting is so good. Damn, dude. That's incredible. It's so cool. Damn. I know that I'm just kind of like oogling and ogling. 
not really like doing a ton, but it's just so cool. The fact that I can go from that camera directly back to my actual player. With the, uh, it's so sick. I, I really feel like this is like Unreal Engine 5 is going to do some amazing things and people are going to make some amazing things with un Unreal Engine. This is so damn cool. So cool. I feel like this is the perfect IP to to do this kind of thing with, the, the Matrix, just because it's the whole thing of like artificial intelligence and what's real and what's not and like pushing the boundaries and stuff like that. And so the fact that you can just come in and play with the world like this is so cool. And like narratively with the Matrix, it actually fits. Damn. Again, even though there's not really much to do, just being able to see all this. I'm sorry, lady. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Is the car trying to, f I think the car's trying to flip back over. Oh, and when it can't, it just goes. That's so cool. That's so cool. Look at this, it's incredible. Can we go in the water? Let's see, water is always a tough subject with video games. Can we do anything with the water? Probably can't go over through there. Nope. And I've busted my engine. Look at the physics on that though. The way that it crumples in and like bends around the pole. It's so cool. I wonder if the camera will let me, oh it will. Will it let me, nope. So it probably won't let me go in the water. It doesn't really even let you get that close. The water looks pretty good. It's all right. It's very flat, which kind of all video game water is. So the water isn't as impressive, but everything else. Oh, oh. Bellissimo. I do wish there was a bit more as far as like, if you can get guns and stuff, other than just like driving around. Cause I wanna see, I wanna see the muzzle flares. I wanna see how, how the bullets impact the the environment. I feel like this is such a good step too towards like very interactive environments. And I think that they've been doing that for a bit with um with what's the game? It's not Call of Duty Battlefield. Because all the environments in Battlefield, I think I haven't played Battlefield in, in a while, but I remember this being advertised. Maybe I'm wrong but a lot of them were like interactive, destructive environments that would actually like change the way that the game is played, um, which is pretty damn cool. Just go on up on the freeway here. This just looks so real. This is cool too, because like with motion blur, and stuff. I was watching a, a video essay about this the other day about racing games and why some racing games you feel like you're going really slow even though it's like you're going 200 miles an hour. Um, and a lot of it has to do with motion blur and the the point of view or the field of view. So like this like, I don't know if it feels like I'm going a hunt. I guess, kind of. Feels like I'm going pretty fast because of the motion blur and because of the way that the car is controlling and like the way that the camera is shaking and stuff. Ooh. It all just feels very real. The only thing I would say that's like heavily lacking in this tech demo, which this isn't really, uh, this isn't really what this tech demo is for anyway. It's more of a visual thing, but the audio is pretty unimpressive. Like there's like no sound really coming from the car. So it like kind of just feels like I'm, I'm floating along a little bit. Um, but that's obviously very separate. <laughs> Does my body, uh, like if I crash into something, like obviously the car reacts to that, but does my body, let's find out.
crash. Crash into something. Crash into something. Crash into something. Come on. I'm doing so well just going straight forward. How have I not crashed yet? Okay, so my body doesn't do anything. That was a really long time of me just driving and not crashing into anything, though. Kind of cool. Crowd and traffic off. Okay, let's turn it back on. Where are all the cars? Oh no. <laughs> Wait. Can I just drive a cube? Oh, okay. Here we go. All right. So there's no more traffic anymore. Let's get the fastest car, which I think is this like Porsche looking thing. And let's get in and let's find out what speed is really all about. I'm so impressed by the reflections. Is that something that's so hard to get right? Damn, hell yeah. Look at that. Ooh, baby. This is a great straightaway too, you know? Just really get in here, going straight. Ooh, I really like the camera. When you make a tight turn like that, that's so cool. How the camera just like, Weaves. That's sick. That's so cool. Well, gamers, it doesn't seem like there's much else for me to do. But hey, what a time. What a good. Can I make it nighttime? Don't think that I can make it night. Well, very, very cool. That is really exciting. I know, again, not much as far as what you can do but really 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 cool um gets me very excited for the future of video games especially during that that action scene where everything is very linear and linear and you can't like free roam the city and stuff like during gameplay like that like god it looked so good i mean even the free roaming gameplay looked incredible but like especially during those scenes where everything is very controlled um and you can only be in one spot and stuff just looked absolutely incredible like there are some parts in there again it's really for me at least all about the lighting i feel like it's it's really hard it's got to be really hard for them to get lighting correct and the way that light reflects off of objects and and bounces off of things and stuff like that but the lighting in this was so well done it's absolutely incredible and all the shadows and detail and looks so so good anyway uh, you can get this for free if you have an Xbox Series X or a PS5. Uh, you can download this now, play it for yourself. Um, but yeah, that was really cool. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think. And, uh, yeah, we'll see you later. Bye. What is that?